Hi guys, here we are, 19.4. Nothing that we weren't really expecting. Uh, you've got snatches in there, bar muscle ups, and then burpees. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna make sure you've had a good one before we start. It's a very intense workout, probably the most intense we've had so far. So making sure you've had a good one that's gonna set you up for success as we get into the workout. Okay, so first thing mobility wise, we wanna make sure that we're mobilizing our hips, low back, okay, on the snatches, we don't want our lower back to start to blow up. Um, obviously your lats and shoulders, for your bar muscle ups, for your snatch overhead position, and then obviously for your burpees. Okay, that's relatively straightforward. From there, all right, we're just going to work through three sets of just general movement preparation and preparing yourself for what we're going to do later on. Okay, so I would start off with five empty bar muscle snatches. Okay, obviously it starts to warm your posterior chain, comes around that fast turnover, start to loosen off your shoulders a little bit too. Top of each rep, just spend a little bit of time up there, get comfortable in that overhead position. We're going to do seven beat swings. Okay, again, open up your shoulders to prepare for the bar muscle ups. And then nine calories on the assault bike, just at a moderate pace, just to start to raise your heart rate a little bit. Okay, from there, then you're going to warm your movements. Okay, so you're going to warm up to the load you want to use on your snatches. Obviously, warm up a few burpees, warm up the bar muscle ups. Um, and during this time, just have a think about how we're going to approach the workout, how we're going to break up your sets, if at all. Okay, from there. You want to start to get your heart rate up, start to build towards workout intensity. Okay, so in two parts, you're going to do two sets, four power snatches, four burpees over the bar, rest in 90 seconds in between. Okay, that wants to be quick. We're going to elevate our heart, elevate our heart rate as we say, get up to that workout intensity so that when we start, it's not going to hit you like a train. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing, but just two bar muscle ups and then four burpees over the bar again. Okay, obviously we don't want to do too many bar muscle ups. You've got a lot of reps to do in the workout. Obviously in the workout it's going to be a little bit different because you're obviously going to be already a little bit fatigued. Okay, so for the workout itself, obviously part one, you're going to do three rounds of 10 power snatch and then 12 burpees over the bar. Okay, so power snatch, the weight 95 pounds for guys, 65 pounds for ladies is massively heavy. Okay, if you're comfortable with your power snatches, and I recommend looking to do those unbroken. Okay, yeah, it might fatigue your grip a little bit for the bar muscle up, but it's paired with the burpees, so it's not like you've got two movements in there which are going to be gripping. Okay, the other thing on the power snatches is you can make the most of that time as quick as possible so that when you get to the burpees you can afford to be consistent instead of having to go flat out and sprint. Okay, in terms of the power snatch itself, obviously you want to be efficient. I wouldn't recommend a muscle snatch, probably a few too many reps and a little bit too heavy, especially prepared with the burpees to go for muscle snatches all the way. You're going to burn out your shoulders and triceps, which we're going to need the bar muscle ups okay so i'd recommend just doing a, a no feet power snatch all right so by that i mean just keeping your feet in the same position through the whole rep still just catching it with a small bit standing up and then bringing it back down that's going to be the way best way to maximize your efficiency also your speed to make sure you're not too fatigued later on in the workout and still get through the snatches quite quick okay try and keep your grip as relaxed as possible all right for me i just want a normal grip if you want a hook grip you can do like I say, you want to try and save your grip a little bit for the bar muscle ups while still pushing the pace, okay? If you do need to break the power snatches, all right, and if you do, I'd recommend that you do it from the start. Obviously, base it off your win rate max. You want to try and make sure you're moving in consistent sets, all right? And try and keep your rest in between the sets quite consistent as opposed to doing, say, three, rest in 10 seconds on the first round, and doing three again, rest in 20 seconds on the next one, okay? You want to make sure you're moving at a good pace the whole way through. If you do get to the point where you're doing single reps, okay, again, make sure you're following the bar back down, get back on the bar as quickly as you can, so you're not spending time resting unnecessarily in between those reps, okay? For the burpees, obviously, you've got a lot of burpees to do through this workout, okay? It's easy to go into the first round, pull out the blocks, do the first set of 12 burpees in 20 seconds, all right? But most of your time on this workout is gonna be spent doing burpees, so it's worth being consistent on those so that when you get into the second set of three rounds, your pace doesn't drop significantly. Okay, obviously you're doing one round of burpees in 20 seconds is quickly going to be negated by doing another five rounds in 30 seconds. Okay, obviously that drop off, that length of time drop off can happen quite easily on burpees just because of the nature of the movement. Okay, so try and be consistent on your burpees from the start. Make sure that you're not making any no reps, okay? Obviously, it's a little bit easy on your burpees to either step over the bar, especially when you get tired, or even if it's like a half hop, okay? So make sure you don't waste any reps on your burpees, and if you do, and when you are moving through them, be disciplined with your pace, okay? 
Okay, if it helps, have someone counting out. Make sure you go and do them at a consistent pace, like set a target time, maybe like a rep every four seconds, something like that, so that you're consistent the whole way through and you don't spend time unnecessarily resting. All right? Obviously, once you've got through part one, you're gonna have your three minutes rest. During that time, try and just keep moving around, keep some blood flowing, have a drink, chalk up, get ready for the next part, okay, once you're on it. However part one went, try and push it to the back of your mind, focus on what you've got to do in part two. Okay, there's no point dwelling on part one in that three minutes rest. All right, once you make a start on part two, obviously bar muscle ups are gonna be in there, okay? Which for some people, well, for most people, is gonna be the main limit in fact that everyone can do burpees, but it's how you break those bar muscle ups which is gonna affect your overall time. Okay, so the most important thing, a bit like your strict handstand push-ups last week, know your limit on the bar muscle ups. Have a good idea of what your max and broken set is so that when you're planning your reps, you know what you can consistently maintain. You don't want to get to the point where you're starting to fail bar muscle ups. All right, obviously by the time, especially by the time you get to the second round of bar muscle ups, your grip's gonna be a bit more fatigued, your shoulders and chest are gonna be more fatigued from the burpees. All right, so we wanna make sure that you're doing consistent sets and not failing any. So as a rough guy, okay, obviously if you know your max and broken set of, of bar muscle ups, you wanna try and keep it to around 40 to 50% of that max and broken sets to consistent sets. All right, so if you can do 10 reps and broken, aim or at least start off aiming for five sets of five through the whole workout. Okay, obviously it's kipping movement this week as opposed to a strict, and you're not doing all those sets together. So that, can, that means we can afford to work in slightly bigger sets and there's less risk of burning out, okay? You wanna make sure that, obviously you know, you know how many reps you're gonna do in your sets. You wanna make sure that you're consistent across all the rounds as opposed to Going out on the first round, the adrenaline's high, but easy to do a set of 10, but then you don't want to crash and burn in the last two rounds when that workout's going to start to catch up with you. Okay, so know your limit and be consistent, all right? And then on that time in between, your bar muscle up sets, just be strict with your rest, okay? So again, it's easy to mess around, to chalk up, walk to the bar, have a breather, hands on your knees, all that kind of stuff, all right? But we want to make sure you know your limit, so you know how many, set, how many reps you're going to do, and then you know how long you need to rest to be able to repeat that, okay? Because, so what we don't want to see is you're taking 15, 20 seconds in between sets, all right? Be consistent, make the most of that time, okay? Again, your burpees, you're gonna do it very much the same as part one, all right? We want to see consistency all the way through as opposed to flying out the gate on the first round and then hitting you on the second round, okay? If anything, we just want to have negative splits so by the last round, you're really picking up that pace finishing in the, in the fastest time possible okay so it's a good workout definitely finishable and the top time you're probably going to see for each part is around three to three minutes or below on part one and then probably four minutes or below on part two okay so it's a fast workout like i said probably the most intense one we've seen so far um but very enjoyable at the same time okay good luck